This is my Dodge. I'm working on the log splitter. I've got to make it to where it will fit or be able to mount on this bed as well as that one. So what I'm doing is calculating all the angles and this, that, and other that I want to incorporate so that I can use the log splitter off the PTO in the truck and still be able to swap the beds out and use all the equipment I'm building for one bed on the other bed and adapt what equipment I've already built for that bed or a flat bed I had on before to where to work with either bed. Anyway, still working on this one. Got a lot more to do. So, that uh, service bed there has been a real handy place to carry all my tools and stuff for years. Came off of a 80 model Chevy three quarter ton. I like it because it's the same width as the cab. Wheels stick out about three inches on each side, but that's fine. Part of a forklift. Fork. It's going to be my splitting portion. That's coming off the bottom side of what will be the log splitter. It's going to be a thing from a kickstand. Take the axle off, I'll be able to have a stand on there to use it. Anyway, it'll all come clear as soon as I start putting things together. Yep, been daydreaming about this for years. All the scrap I've had sitting aside waiting on it. Anyway, that's it for now. Engage my PTO. Pull up on that little bar I put in here. I didn't want any hydraulic hoses going in the cab, so I mounted that. Two. Yep, it's a little dark under there. But the valve body's outside the cab. I've got a little wire or bar going down and connecting to the uh, valve body outside. And if I ever develop a leak it won't be inside the cab. It'll be under it. These hoses will go wherever. i just take them off. Cap them while I'm not using log splitter. That's probably the cylinder I will use on the log splitter. I do however have this one over here. Identical, just painted a different color. Sitting on 
top of some of the parts I'm going to use on my uh, sawmill. Anyway, yep, just about got it. Like I say, everything's got a mount on this bed here. When I get it finished, it's basically just a flat bed with a what looked like a cab extension on it. I cut the cab down to where it's pickup bed level, so I can put my fifth wheel on it. Gooseneck ball, and it won't interfere with uh, what's behind the real cab. A nice bed. Anyway, that's my sawmill project and my beds and everything.